guys, welcome to Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Nancy Isime and it is always a pleasure to have you join me. As you know, Trending is brought to you by Airtel, like I said. <laughs> and on this show, we bring everyone and we talk about everything that is trending, which is exactly what I'm going to do right after this break. Please stay with me, guys, and when I come back, the show begins. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Stay with me. All right, guys, welcome back. Today in the studio with me, I have Iceberg Salim, and we'll be discussing the topic, how to keep a level of privacy in a celebrity relationship slash marriage. Hello, Iceberg. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? It's so good to see you. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm awesome. Are you ready? I know you heard me talking about mm. you are like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> But are you good? I'm good. Regardless, good. great, great, great. I love your sense of style. I thank mean, you, I thank you. Rocking your shirt. Yes, so yes. What are you wearing today? I want to see inspiration behind it. Um, just a casual T-shirt, some jeans, Timberlands. Just you know, just a day out. Okay. Say, nothing special. Nothing. You know what you say about Timberlands, like. Well, New York and like exactly that's and that's that. where I'm from, you know what I mean? Oh, that's where you're from. Okay, okay. Right. Well, you know, what about the hair? What inspired him? <sighs> I just wanted to be different. Right, right. I feel as an artist, you always need something that sets you apart from everyone else. else. So right. once they see you, you know, you have a signature look or style. Okay. And this is that signature. Well, you're rocking it, so that's thank really you, good. Not and I love your hair too. Oh, thank you, yeah. see yeah. This look was a long story. But thank <laughs> you, thank you. Now tell me, what do you think about you know celebrity relationships? <laughs> I think celebrity relationships are basically the same as any other relationship okay. it's just that they're you know success susceptible okay. to you know public opinion and mm -hmm. comments mm -hmm. and things like that uh -huh. but i mean at the end of the day it's still a relationship like any other relationship, relationship. and i don't feel like you know public opinion should really yes should ever like influence decisions or anything like that like, you, yeah, know? But you know where i'm coming from i mean mm -hmm. let's talk about your relationship with the beautiful the amazing because i've met her before i know her juliet mm -hmm. ibrahim yes. Dude, as in as you know opinions of others influenced or you know sometimes just got into you guys in any way no not at all okay not at all because as i said the relationship is between two people so it's what she sees in me and what I see in her. That's right. all that matters to right. us. You know, people can say things about her, can say mm -hmm. things about me, and it doesn't move us. But right? have you been able to keep you private? I, by private, I mean having you to, you know, put out as much as you want to put exactly. out. Because people need to understand the fact that when you say, okay, you know what, this is my man, mm -hmm. this is my woman, it's different from saying, okay, this is what we do every morning yeah. and every day, and this is where we are, and this is everything. <laughs> so how are you able to keep all of these things? And whose idea or whose decision was it to keep as much as you can private. I mean, because of the fact that it's a relationship, there always has to be some sort of privacy right. that, you know, that's what keeps it sacred mm -hmm. for, you know, the two people. But it's it's what we decide to give okay. the public, you know, through our social media, you know, it's whatever we decide to mm -hmm. give them. They don't know how often we're together or how often we're not together. Right. But, you know, whenever we decide to show, okay, hey, mm -hmm. we eating dinner or, you know, mm -hmm. hey, we're watching a movie, that's mm -hmm. based on us just saying, okay, let's open up this window real quick but it still closes that but between point. the both of you who is more likely to want to put up more in uh, on social media i don't know i don't know I, I, do you think sometimes you're like oh maybe we'll be too private maybe let's just talk this people no, you know no. what i mean because i think it's we live a regular life okay regardless of the celebrity fact that we live a regular life so mm -hmm. you know even if we weren't together you know i would still if i'm eating food, it's nice, it looks mm -hmm. exotic, I'll take a picture of the food, you know, mm -hmm. and then I will still do the same thing if we're on a date eating. Right. So it, it's not really about, you know, her or let, like, let's show the world. The it's world. just about <laughs> us living our lives, just right. doing the regular thing. Okay, but you know what they say about like celebrity relationships mm -hmm. or marriages? They always say it never ends well. I don't know why, but there's always that pressure. Maybe it's because of the pressure from like everybody. So everybody's like, you know what, it won't last, it this. Are you scared that that's gonna happen sometime? No, I'm not. Why aren't you? I'm, I'm confident in, you know, what we invest in the relationship between ourselves and, you know, when you have a strong bond with someone and you genuinely love each other, I don't think there's anything that, that can come so with it. That's so sweet. That is so, so sweet. <laughs> All right. So tell me, how do you manage your busy schedule and, you know, still have time, still money to have time for each other? Well, it's it's not easy, definitely, okay. but you just have to make time whenever there is time. You know, mm -hmm. there's always time, right? Regardless for whatever you want to do, you know, you mm -hmm. can go 24 hours, and when you're hungry, you find time to eat. To so eat, yeah. it's so 
There's, there's always time. Always time you for can what's important? Make, exactly. Right, okay. So let's talk about your music. Yes. Uh, you seem to have, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's like, oh, relationship, relationship. Is that what I'm here? <laughs> oh, my woman, my woman. Let's talk about me. But now let's talk about you and your yes. music. You seem to have taken a break, did you? Yeah. Um, it was just, it was a lot that was going on. Me trying to find my sound, me trying to find a niche for myself in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, then I lost my mom. It was just a lot going on. Then Even I changed. The like, it, it's been hard, definitely, but you know, it's a gradual process, right. and you start to, you know, just find your ground again. So I, I believe, you know, I'm back now. Okay. I'm here. So do you think that you know Juliet really did help you know getting back back on your game, on your grind? Yes, yes, she definitely did help. Okay. She uh, encouraged me a lot, and she, you know, stood by me. That was one of the hardest things, mm -hmm. you know that I went through in my life, right. like, you know, and she was right there, you know, when I got the news, everything, like, so she was completely supportive and understanding, and then mm -hmm. at the end of the day, she, you know, just encouraged me, and was that yeah. strength that I needed. Oh, that is so sweet. Yes. Tell me, what do you think about, you know, the track, Rapper Fix Your Life, by M.I.? <laughs> <sighs> um, it's a great track. Okay. I, I, I love the track. It's a great mm. track. You didn't think that in any way was pointing at somebody? At who? Because I don't know. I've had artists, like I've had mm. rappers on my heart. So I've asked them about the same question. And they're like, oh, well, for me, oh, my life is perfect. Mm. You know, I don't think it's me that needs to fix my life. And some people have been like, ah, oh, maybe, yes, I feel like he was directing it this way. Mm. I think, uh, you know, maybe it's a bit, uh, what's the word that was used mm. the other time? Like, like deliberate. But what do you think? Or in all honesty, we don't judge. No, that, no judge. For, for me, judge honestly, I, I, I say it's a dope track. Okay. And I understand his message in the song. You mm -hmm. know, as, as a rapper as well, I understand the lyricism in the song and the point that he was trying to make in the song. So for me, it's a dope song. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't take it personal. I don't okay. feel like he's taking shots at me or taking shots at other rappers. I think mm -hmm. he's just making a statement okay. based on something that he observed in the industry. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he, he's stating facts based on how he sees it. And okay. there's nothing wrong and that's with that. it. Okay, well, thank you for sharing. But tell me, how has your year been so far? What are you working on? What's going on? What should we expect? What were the My highlights? My year was a bit of a roller coaster, but you know, I'm here now. We just dropped a new single, new video titled Olua. Okay. Um, and it's been amazing, okay. you know, to say the least. The, the sound is different from everything that people are used to from Iceberg Slim. Mm -hmm. And the way people have received it now, it's like, you know, it's really? amazing, yes. Yeah, okay. so. okay. Olua Movement. Olua the video movement. is out. The video is out. The song is out. Let's check it out. Well done, well done. Thank Best you. of luck on every, everything. And I look forward to, you know, an album soon? Um, maybe not an album, maybe an EP, an EP. or a mixtape. What would you name it? I have no idea. You're I sure. have no idea. It won't be something about love? I doubt it. You doubt. I doubt it. Juliet, he said no. It's not about love, <laughs> so in case you want to fight today, I'm giving you something to talk about. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. No problem. Alrighty, guys, please enjoy the video of today. And when I come back, we'll be playing some games. You don't want to miss any of this. We'll be right back. Stay with me. My dress. Where are you now? Sunday. Oh, gosh. Hey, what do you need? Please let me do my zip. Okay. Do it now. Ah, because you are coming and you're asking me what I need. After telling you, come and help me zip. Do my zip. Don't be patient. Don't be patient. I am patient. Zip it now! Ah! Please tell me exactly what you want. Sunday, take one. Use one hand to hold this place. Uh -huh. Hold it now! I'm holding it. Then I'm use the second it. hand to hold this place. Use the other hand to. How do I know? I have only two hands now. If I use one hand to hold them. It doesn't matter. Just zip it. Zip it. So there is nothing stuck. you can. It's stuck. That's what you will say. There's nothing you can do. Help someone to buckle shoe. You cannot buckle. <laughs> Moto is doing overeating, you cannot check. You don't know what to check. You don't know gauge of oil. Someone is sick, is dying. You cannot help somebody with anything. Guy is doing overeating, you don't know. You cannot check oil, uh, oil gauge. You cannot help a person. person is sick in the kitchen. There's nothing you can do. 
Help me to zip. Sorry. You always complain. Go. You know that you are growing fast. Me <laughs> fat. I didn't. I didn't mean. It's not like that. What? It's not like that. I so mean, I am fat. No, no. Why will you open your mouth and say that the woman you love is fat? No, it's not like that. It's not like that. Maybe, I, I meant the dress is shrinking. Why did you say me? I'm shrinking. No, I don't understand. No, seriously. Um, Sonny, I am not angry. I'm not annoyed. I'm not. I'm not in the mood for no, a fight. No. I'm not ready to shout. Just explain to me why will you open your mouth and say I'm fat? No, no seriously. How can you say I am fat? The dress is shrinking. Oh. And, you didn't mean what? No, 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 sorry. That means you've been cheating on me. You've been seeing other women. You've been looking at other women. You okay? You think everybody? Are, I, 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 I'm, I'm fat, Abi. So you mean I'm like this now? I'm like this. So no, no, fat like this. Maybe the dress is shrinking. Is shrink? What do you mean shrinking? I didn't mean. You just said it now. Maybe because I'm fat. How can you say I'm fat? How can I be fat? I'm sorry. No. No, seriously, let's say this. You've been cheating, you've been seeing other women. That means there's someone out there that is slim. No. There's someone out there that is, am I not slim enough? I, am I not fine enough? The dress is... What dress? The dress that when I bought itself, it, it does not use to enter. With the chain and everything, you said I'm fat. There's no point. Just zip it. See, now it has it. <laughs> it has it. <laughs> Out. Sonia! My zipper's gone! Jesus! My dress! We are not going anywhere! Hey guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. I still have Iceberg Slim on my hot seat. And we're about to play some games. First off, we have the Fast Fire Question segment. What happens is I get to ask you a couple questions. You answer all of them in about 60 seconds. Hmm. Yes. Okay, I'll you try. ready? I'll try. All right. Time starts right now. What is your favorite childhood memory? Um, my favorite childhood memory. My dad took me to Madison Square Garden to watch WWF wrestling, and it was a surprise. That's a very long memory. Yes. Okay. Underpaid or overrated? Hmm. Well, for me. Yeah. Emma. Anybody? Any? For you, actually. Um, underpaid. Underpaid. What did you eat last night? Jeez, what did I eat? I eat Jamaican food. Jamaican? What kind of food? Tell me. Is oh, it like rice and, no. <laughs> It was rice and peas and jerk chicken. And jerk chicken. And no, I heard that. And right. some cabbage. Okay. Body odor or mouth odor? <sighs> They're both bad. <laughs> Which one would you rather go with if you're supposed to be stuck <laughs> with one for the rest Probably of your life? Probably mouth odor because you can just tell someone to keep quiet or something. Wow. Woo. Very direct. Okay. Straight to the point. Just keep quiet. Mm. Okay. Biggest moments this year? Dropping Olua. Great. Favorite African soup? Better not come up with any Jamaican soup. No, no, Egusi. Egusi, OJ. Yes, yes. Nigerian jollof or Ghanaian jollof? Hey, you people want to set me up. Just say Jamaican jollof. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, of course, Niger jollof. No. Niger jollof. You better not be no Shatawale up in this place. <laughs> Favorite football team? <laughs> I don't watch football, unfortunately. Okay, first thing you do in the morning when you wake up? Pray. Name your phobia. Oh, jeez. Afraid of not being able to fulfill my, my destiny. Mm. And 60 seconds is up, but really good. That's Thank very, you. oh, afraid of that. What phobia would that be? Is it <laughs> afraid of not being yeah. a phobic? Yeah, exactly. It's that. It's that. It's that. Yeah. We'll leave you at that. Well, thank you very much for sharing. Right now, we'll move on to the next hill, which is the tribe. Now, what happens is I get to ask you a couple social media abbreviations and you give us a full meaning. So, you ready? Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah, now, so, <laughs> you don't even know. I'm, the blood of Jesus is covering this thing. Are you ready? Mm. First one, B R B. Be right back. Good. I K R. I don't, wait, I, I K R. Yeah. I know, right? M I A. Missing in action. Ooh, I D K. I don't know. Ooh, Bay. Bay. B A E. Wait, there's different ones for that because it's like uh, boo after everything or baby after everything or so. What? Bay. 
I didn't ask you, boo. Be, I said no, bae. No, bae means like before every. Uh, what, what? You almost there. You almost there. Before. A A A. Before B. everyone. No, it's not. No. B A E. Yes, I'm before, before. Yeah. Before. You almost hmm. there. You're, you're about to get it. You're like you know. I don't know. That's jerk chicken you chopped yesterday. Exactly. Like, say, it's done. Yeah, wait, wait, what is it? What is it? It means before anyone else. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. That's what you said. No, you said, said everyone. That's what I said. Oh, I was yeah, trying to okay. give you expo. You were like, no. All right, T T Y L. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. I G. Instagram. F B. Facebook. I S Y. It's like I S Y. I S Y. I see you. Yes, you did. Do people use these things? Yes, they use it. I guess why. In my social media. <laughs> <laughs> we did really well under. I, I, would, I was about to say 60 seconds, but yeah, it was. you did well under this segment. You did very well. You got Thank almost you. everything. Yeah? Almost, almost. Apart from bass. Almost. At least now you know what bass means, right? Yeah. Alrighty, guys, we'll go on a short <laughs> break now. When we come back, Iceberg Slim will be reading some nasty comments. You ready for that? Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Well, we'll be right back. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. It is that time that I think you love to hate, maybe, or rather my guests love to hate. Hmm. But I'm going to give this to you. You're please going to read and react to each of them the best way you can. That's a comment. Let's go. Yeah. He was almost the big thing, then he flopped. I don't know what Julia sees in him at all. He is not fine. She deserves someone hotter. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you want his muscles? What more hotness do you want? Mm. What do you have to say about that? I, I don't have anything to say. No? You see, these things don't move me. Okay. Because I'm a very confident person and I'm confident in who I am. My hair, my clothes, my dressing, my build, everything about me, my music. Mm -hmm. So. If someone like leaves a nasty comment on a post or something, I actually like the comments. I don't delete them because oh, wow. at the end of the day, like I said before, like even Jesus Christ was stoned. So who am I to feel bulletproof or like, you know, people shouldn't have an opinion or to feel bad or, you know, anything. So these things actually don't move me. It's basically more of a reflection of who they are and their insecurities and their problems. So they're just transferring that onto someone else. It doesn't bother me. Okay. Thank you very much for letting us know. I appreciate people. this from you. Priska and Toby. And Toby. I see you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> it was so good to have you on the show Thank today. You. Did you have fun? I had an awesome time. An awesome time. You heard awesome it. Time. Awesome time on trending set. Yes. All right. Well, yes. I wish you the very best of luck with Thank everything you. and Thank hope you. to see you here again. And of yes. course, best of luck with you and Juliet. Yes. You guys should call me when I should be on Jalove Fights is ready, okay? Mm, which Jalove do you want? That's the question now. Eh? Firewood party. Mm. Bunch shell of rice. But is that Nigeria or Ghana? Excuse me, Ga uh, Ga what? What is that? <laughs> Nigeria. Uh -uh, I don't know what's going on. You see, me it's firewood I know about, and that's Nigerian. Okay. All right. Well, best of luck and hope to thank see you, you again. You, yes. You. All right, guys. Enjoy the top five. I will be right back. Top 5 Fastest Celebrity Divorces At number 5 is Carmen Electra and Dennis Rodman. Their marriage lasted for 9 days. At number 4 is Robert Evans and Catherine Oxenberg. Their marriage lasted for 9 days. She was his 6th wife already and after her he married for the 7th time. Their marriage was annulled but it's not clear why. Sitting at number 3 is Greg Allman and Cher. Their marriage was just for 9 days. Apparently, Cher was too much to handle for Greg Allman and he couldn't keep up with her. At number 2 is Jason Alexander and Britney Spears. Their marriage was just for 55 hours. The second most notorious quickie marriage and divorce, or annulment in this case, belongs to Britney Spears. Finally, at the number one spot is Rudolf Valentino and Jane Acker. Their marriage lasted for only six hours. This was a long time ago and is not widely known, but makes similar lists almost every time. 
All right, guys, it's about time for me to say goodbye. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the show. As you know, I had Iceberg Slim on my hot seat, and we had a lot to talk about. I hope you had fun, and I hope you had one or two things to learn from him. As you know, you can join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at Heap TV and on Instagram at Official Heap TV. You can also follow me on Instagram, only if you wish, at Nancy Isume Official. And you can also watch us online at www.heaptv.tv. Until I see your pretty faces next time, do not forget that I love you. But God loves you more. Goodbye. <laughs>